Hey guys, it's Kristen Legs, Kristen with the long legs, back with another long legs production, and I'm back. Didn't that used to be a dance? They'd be with their shirt or something. And I'm backy backing up. Back. <laughs> something is wrong with me. Um, so today's video is actually going to be about, you know, I thought you guys wanted to get to know me a little better, or this is, you know, me trying to be a positive role model for all my young girls out there, or all the girls who are single, pursuing relationships, or even if you're not pursuing a relationship, pursuing, you know, growing and being the person who you want to be, but like, if you eventually want to get married someday, like, like, this just helps, like, you just bring it all together, like, just know what type of, okay, I'm gonna just say the title because I'm obviously just stalling. So while I've got your attention, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe down below and click that notification bell so you can be notified when I make my newest videos. Alright, this accent's bad. Cool. I'm so sorry. Just make sure you guys just subscribe and I'll never do the accent again. Thanks. <laughs> so it's just me and the type of guy that I would marry. Because me, yeah, okay. So first of all, let me get comfortable because you the fam. Um, so me i am christian celibate that's why this ring on my left finger i'm not married um and me pursuing a relationship would be me dating someone would be me seeing them as a potential person to marry and you just gotta even though starting off doing that like scares guys away that scares away the weak ones so that's totally fine but i'm not dating somebody for play play like i'm dating you because i'm trying to get married I'm just kidding. Not that I'm trying to get married, but the purpose of you dating someone is to marry them, like to see your potential interaction and would y'all be compatible to be married. And I dating you because, oh, I like him and nah. I'm dating you because I see you as a potential spouse to marry, making you a spouse and spend my the rest of my life with. Yeah, and that's looked at, looked at that's looked at as more of a courtship than dating but yeah that's what i'm doing i'm not and i'm telling you i'll be asking them deep questions i'm like so what are your future goals like on the first day like me talking to them, like okay let me go into my my how i break it down he gotta be in a three six mafia he gotta be at least six foot tall he gotta make six figures and have a six pack no i'm just kidding that's not how i base off anything because you could have a whole garbage personality like me let me say this first yes you could be the most fine person in the world but if your personality is trash that brings you down like four levels or four numbers even if someone's like just the most fine person in the world, like if you're a 10 and you got a trash personality, like you bash people, you insult people, like if you're making fun of the waiters, like if you don't, if you're just a whole garbage person, like you're a six or a five, you're undateable. You're not, no, we can't even be friends. Like if you're a trash person, like I don't even, it literally clouds my judgment. Like I can't even see you, not it clouds my judgment, but like that judgment clouds my vision of me seeing you as attractive. Like you disgust me my guy so that's why he whoever i'm marrying has to fit into the category of the four f's and if i had my editing software then i'd be able to like put some fun little graphic here but you know i'm working off of an iphone and iMovie movie until i get my stuff after tech school in two months but yeah the four f's of who i would marry so first things first like the very first thing and this makes the whole process of dating or courting or anything harder because it's really hard to come across these people like it seems crazy but i guess it's really hard for people to to come across like someone like me but the first f is he has to be faithful or on fire for jesus if you are not on fire for jesus if i do not see you pursuing a not just a relationship but having a fellowship with him and talking to him daily and asking him for advice and you not trying to lean to your own understanding but trying to grow with him and see what he's trying to do for you in your life and see where he's trying to lead you if you're not having him as the center of your everything i can't see myself being with someone like that because that's how i am and that's who i would want to grow with and start a family with so i mean and that would like cut all the problems because i know some people like if you're already married to someone who isn't like that well you're stuck because you're married no but so i know some people are able to 
bring them like around but i'm not trying to go through all that like me before i loved the lord i was crazy so if i can avoid those problems at all costs yeah you want to be with someone who's equally yoked you want to yeah so whoever i love has to be faithful and on fire and like actions speak louder than words so i need to see you acting it in your daily life acting walking out your walk with jesus and not just talking it and being able to like evangelize and bring other people and just do whatever his will is for you and be able to have god talk to me like yep he's like he's a good person like me be able to see that from use my discernment to see that for myself but like if you aren't on fire with jesus like you'd be the most fine person in the world you'd be making just however much money i literally would not care the most educated doesn't matter we could have great conversation we could be friends but that's not someone i could ever see myself dating like and that sounds crazy like oh my gosh why would you pass him up no god's got something in store for me and i need someone who can add on to that who i can grow in that with and some people just don't understand and like guys be like what huh and like do you love the lord huh uh you just scrub anyway uh and then the second f would be you want to be attracted to your mate yes <laughs> so what you gotta look at forever um so i would have to say the second f is fine so i do care about looks and looks is not the only thing because no one can help how they were born like being attractive is a gift um some people have it some people don't not trying to shame people but like it's just the way the world works everybody's beautiful everyone's created in his image but like you're attractive to some people and you're not to some people like i know i'm not attractive to some people and some people i am so he just has to be like fine to me that's all that i don't care if anybody else think you fine i just have to be able to like look at your face and just stare at you all day yeah so he has to be attractive that's the second f the third f and my mom says she can see me like marrying someone who's not high on the attractive thing but i'm like yeah he's i mean personality is more important than fine so let me before i say fine let me go i put fine as the third f okay so i went back and looked at my f's i can see so i see why my mother says that i would marry someone who's not just the most like epitome of being super attractive because this f i'm totally at order i apologize that f is going to be on the bottom that's going to be the fourth thing the second f is going to be it's second and third the second and third are like I, I would probably lean more i don't know as of right now they're equal to me because you can learn but you want to start off well all right so i'll put the second f as financially responsible i want to have someone who even if they're not in a good situation right now because me personally like financially I have a $10,000 card that I have to pay off or sell. I have $14,000 in student loans. I have credit card debt that I'm almost finished getting rid of because I'm. this is the third year of my set, my third, seventh year. I turned 21 this year and I'm breaking and that's the like beginning of new. Seven is the beginning of new or like the, no, seven is the ending of stuff, like the completion. So I'm ending me this year, ending the cycle of generational curses from my uh, parents and from their grandparents and just from our family from the past relatives of being financially irresponsible not being good stewards over your money and not being able to handle that because if i can't handle the little why would god give me a lot i want to be able to handle the little to prove that i am responsible over much so i'm trying to get myself handled now and me doing that now is me like even though i'm right by dc and like this weekend is labor day weekend and i know there's stuff popping off right now and they're out like the navy's outside having fun doing stuff that has nothing to do with me because i was probably free but me trying to be financially responsible i'm staying inside and i'm not going out spending my money or like i know i wanted some tattoos but i'm not spending any of my money because i'm trying to pay that down now so i can not be struggling in the future like people who are like people who are like in their 50s still paying student loans like that sounds crazy i'm not trying to be a part of that i'm trying to be able to grow and like establish my life and have a great credit score because my credit score dropped too because I won't pay my bills on time like that. And it's better for me to learn now than to learn later and be financially responsible and, and just walk in that and keep growing now rather than later and be like, oh, I can just pay this stuff off later. I have to worry about that later because when that later catches up to you, you're gonna be out here looking crazy and I don't wanna be that person. So um, 
me, I'm being financially responsible right now and taking care of what the situation I've been put in. So I can't see myself yoking up. <laughs> that sounds so weird. I can't see myself getting together or having someone pursue me and me be with that person because I'm not pursuing no guy. He would pursue me. Um, I can't see me being with someone who is financially irresponsible with their money or who just have bad habits that would put me that would set me back i don't need any setbacks i'm trying to be aggressive with getting all this debt taken care of and then you have to pay your phone bill and car insurance bro military money is not a thing like i really don't even get paid that much i need to give away some of this stuff and i've been able to like stop spending money on clothes like that because when i first got here i was like spin 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 because when i was in bmt i had money saved up but it was like now you gotta pay for your bills and you gotta pay for I mean, I really have an idea what all this stuff I paid for, where all that money went. Probably like food. But yes, I'm being uh, financially responsible and just getting it together now. And it may seem hard now, but like, it's just like, you know, how you have a rough start and then it gets easier with time. Like, you know how they say things don't get harder, you get better. That's like what this is right now. So even though I'm in D.C. and there's so much fun stuff to do, I know that if I take care of this situation right now, that there'll be plenty of times where I'm able, I'm gonna be big blog. I'm, I'm claiming billionaire, billionaire status, or I'll be able to fly into DC and be chilling in the heart of DC and see whatever I missed exploring now. Like, I'm really not that pressed. I have so much life ahead of me to live. So, that's a financial response. I want someone with that same mindset and that mindset of like, um, when I get all my like college together and my CDCs, um, once I get all that taken care of then I'll be looking into stocks and investing on a level that I'll be able to while um, giving and like, well, of course, tithes and stuff, that's not, I don't even know why I said it like that, but getting rid of my debt that I have accumulated. So yeah, he has to be on board with getting himself financially together because I'm not trying to struggle with my kids. Like seeing where my parents came from and then seeing how my parents have to deal with stuff now, like, I don't want money to be an issue for anything for my kids. And if I can start off now getting it together and yeah, be an example for my kids, that would just be awesome, yeah. Instead of good generational blessing that my kids are financially responsible, that's what I would wanna do. All right, and let's dive into the last F because I did this so freaking out of order. But the third F is going to be, he has to be fun. So I have a lot of personality, like I'm super extra. If you haven't seen any of my videos before where I stated this, I'm hypersensitive. So any emotion that I can like feel or that I have is just exemplified. And I'm super loud to like match that. So if I think something's funny, like I'm cat screech, ha ha yodeling, like I'm loud. And if I'm upset, then it's like, and if I can feel you're upset, I like feed off you being upset. And it's just like, I'm not backing down and I don't like to lose. I'm super competitive. So like, what's up? But we're talking about being fun. So whoever I marry has to be a date with the intention to marry has to be fun because I like to do lots of fun stuff. I'm an extrovert. I like to be like, I do outdoor stuff, indoor stuff. Just I'm really, people take this uh, phrase out of context sometimes, but I'm really like down to do anything at least once. So like I plan on like going to jump out of plane, even though sometimes I'm scared of heights, like I can't see myself talking myself out of that. That's something I would do. Just do crazy stuff. I need to learn how to swim so I can like jump off a cliff and like dive into the water. That sounds like such a fun thing to do. And it sounds like craziness, but I'd have a partner who would be like, oh my gosh, that's fun. I'm coming with you or I support you and I'll be there taking pictures even though that sounds terrifying, I'll do it with you. Or like some, if I'm gonna go out like dance, I'm like, go do some salsa, some bachata. I'm not going to meet somebody else. I'm going to dance with my, with my boyfriend. Why my boyfriend not dancing with me? You gotta be fun. You gotta be willing to do that stuff with me. And it's a compromise. Like, there's stuff that he's not gonna like what I wanna do, and that's totally fine. That's why, like, you have friends, or I'll just go do stuff by myself. But you just understand, like, that's the kind of person who I am. So, like, that's the kind of stuff that I like to do. So, yeah, and also a fun person because I plan, I intend on marrying my best friend. Like, seeing other marriages and people like rushing into stuff or. It's not the person like God really wanted them to marry, but since they're honoring the law of you marry a person and you don't divorce them unless they unless they commit adultery, 
that he still blesses them in that situation, that your grace for that situation. That like God has so much grace that he, even though you mess up his plan, he, not mess up his plan, because you can't mess up nothing, but you go somewhere else and you want to do your own thing, he still has so much grace and favor over your life that he's still going to bless you in that situation. So I plan on marrying my best friend. So when we are like married for 30 years, like there's still love there. You can love someone and just still be waking up annoyed with them every day but you gotta like that person so i'm going to love my husband and like him throughout our whole marriage and just enjoy his time in his presence and being around him and not getting tired of him so whoever i'm with has to be fun plus i like to do like my family's just they're a bunch of jokesters and pranksters and stuff so he has to be able to handle that and not think that oh you're childish you're immature it's like no it's just that's what we consider fun so it might be childish or in immature in a way to someone else but like that's just like what we like to do so if you can't hang with my fun and i can't see me marrying someone or dating someone with the purpose of marrying someone uh like that so they have to be super fun just someone that you can see yourself in it for the long run with um yeah but that's that's basically it for this video that's the kind of guy so yeah follow follow on the bottom of the list because all that other stuff is way more important than being attracted you have to be financially responsible you have to be you have to be on fire for jesus without a doubt and you have to be fun i'd rather have personality over looks because god's gonna bless my kids and they're gonna come out fine looking cute like me at least <laughs> let me stop um but yes that's all i have to say for that video hopefully this inspires you uh, well, hopefully you like got to know me a little bit better, but hopefully this inspires you to have a higher standard of who you date. I know some people's standards lower because they're like, oh, this is my standard, but there's no one meeting that. So maybe I should lower my standard. No, keep your standard the same because there's going to be someone who matches that standard one day. You don't want to have lower standards just because like, I mean, you don't really have to date someone like God's going to put someone in your life. Just don't worry about it. All right. So now it's the end of the video and now it's time for the end of the video scripture. All right. So the scripture that I found is Matthew 16 verse 26 through 27. And it says, what good will it be for someone to gain the whole world yet forfeit their soul? Or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? For the son of man is going to come in his father's glory with his angels. And then he will reward each person according to what they have done. So to me, that means like, why involve yourself in worldly things? What good is it to gain the whole entire world's approval, but you lose your soul? I remember when I was younger, I used to think that, you know how they say, like, you sell your soul for fame? I used to think that people would, like, get on the black cloaks and go into the dark room and, like, start summoning demons and, like, here's my soul in exchange for fame. And that's how you get it. But that's not, that's obviously not how it works. Uh, But you can see people just compromising their morals and their integrity for just for fame like people out here just doing the dumbest stuff just to get favors just to get noticed and what's the purpose of doing that if you're not following what god has for you he's coming down like there's a judgment day. he's either coming down or you're going up there so you might as well do what's right there's and the the and i'm right now i want to fast from instagram for a month because and it's not the satisfaction of likes with me. I'm just, I just be scrolling through Instagram. But like, what's the purpose? What's the purpose of gaining all this that's, that will mean nothing to him? Because the heavens and the earth will be destroyed and there will be a new. That's why you want to be with God because he is forever. I am. He's forever. So you want to, there's no purpose of gaining. You could just gain the whole world, but you lose your soul. And then when you die, everything just is washed away. So there's no purpose in doing that. So make sure you just find purpose and meaning in your life and the things that you do daily all right so that's the end of the video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe down below if you like this video let me know if there's something that i missed in this video like if there's like an f or something to the theme of this video that i missed just comment it down below if you have any questions comments critiques you can slide into my instagram dms and hit me up there well i just told you i'm on the fast for it so i'm not gonna be up there for like a month but you can still hit me up there and i'll look at it later um, but until next time, I'll see you guys later. This is Kristen Legs, Kristen with the long legs, signing out. Bye. Ew. Can I? Oh.